Patients with kidney failure, kidney transplants help lead to a longer life expectancy and improve the quality of life by eliminating the need for dialysis and diet restrictions. There are two kinds of donor kidney transplants. You can get a kidney from someone who has just passed away, or you can get a kidney from someone who is still living. Living donor kidneys are of better quality. Also, this type of transplant is more convenient since the surgery can be planned, unlike surgeries for deceased donor kidneys that can happen at any time. To be a living kidney donor, you must be healthy and have normal working kidneys. Anyone over the age of 18 can be tested to be a donor. You do not need to be related to someone to be able to donate. If you're interested in donating, we have a questionnaire for you to complete which can be found online or we can send you a copy. Our living donor team reviews each questionnaire and a nurse coordinator will contact the potential donor about the steps that come next. This nurse coordinator will be the donor's guide throughout the process. The law requires us to maintain donor and recipient privacy during evaluation. If the donor would like for the recipient to know details about their workup, we encourage the donor and recipient to speak directly. Potential donors will need several tests and evaluations done before a transplant happens. This can include a full medical exam, an evaluation by a kidney doctor, an evaluation by a donor surgeon, an evaluation by a social worker, a CAT scan, urine tests, blood tests, blood pressure checks, and an EKG. Depending on the donor's age, there may be additional tests needed. Once the donor's first set of blood and urine tests are complete, we will schedule an evaluation at the University of Maryland Medical Center. This appointment will take several hours. We'll try our best to complete all of the tests on this day. If there is an abnormal result, the donor may need to repeat that test. This full day is to make sure the donor has a healthy kidney and will not have any increased health risk after donation. Once all the donor testing is complete, we will present the results to our transplant committee. If the committee thinks that the donor is a good candidate, we will speak with them, the recipient, and the surgeon to pick the best day for transplant surgery. Before the transplant surgery, both the donor and recipient will need to come to the medical center at least one more time for pre-admission testing. We sometimes refer to this as PAT. Both patients will meet with a nurse practitioner, nurse coordinator, and a surgeon. They will have some additional blood work taken and sign surgical and blood consents. The donor and recipient coordinator, as well as the surgeon, will review all of the specifics regarding the upcoming surgeries during the PAT visit. If you have any questions or concerns, our living donor kidney transplant team is there to help you.